Hey there, I'm Dr. Ron Wilson. At Wilson Orthodontics, we've helped people just like you get that perfect, healthy smile they've always dreamed of. Our talented team is the best around, and they treat all our patients like they're part of the family. Children and adults love our exciting game room. Ride in style in our H2 Hummer Brace Bus. Surf the web in our state-of-the-art internet cafe. And now, we have our very own charity spa. Call us today to schedule your free consultation, and we look forward to seeing you here soon. With this Access News Break, I'm Katie Crumley. Two brothers have been charged in a double homicide this summer in Elbert County. Elbert County Sheriff Barry Haston says 26-year-old Cesar Augusto Suarez of Athens and 23-year-old Diego Ernesto Suarez of Lexington were charged with murder Thursday afternoon in the shooting deaths of Joe Ballou and Lori Phillips, who were killed at a Bowman residence on July 6th. Haston says the brothers were charged after investigators discovered significant similarities between the Bowman murders and and an Oglethorpe County murder in August for which they were already in custody. The owner of a Flowery Branch convenience store was arrested Wednesday and charged with possessing and selling synthetic marijuana. Flowery Branch Police Chief David Spiller says officers executed 12 felony arrest warrants against Mazir Ali Siddiqui at Best Buy Quality Foods on Atlanta Highway. Siddiqui's arrest follows the passage of Senate Bill 370 or Chase's Law, which Governor Nathan Deal signed into law in March, outlawing the sale and possession of the synthetic drug. And of the 22 people who showed up Thursday for a child safety seat event in Gainesville, every one of them was flagged for misuse. Gainesville Police Officer Greg Wall, the first officer in the state of Georgia to be certified to inspect child safety seat installation, says it's not unusual to find people across the board make mistakes when putting the seats in their vehicles. Wall says a misuse is classified as anything from having the harness straps in the wrong spot to a child not using the seat at all. Thursday's event at Target on Shalliford Road was part of a National Child Passenger Seat Safety Week. With this Access News Break, I'm Katie Crumley.